In this video, I want to talk about this chart. It's a really interesting chart because it has a repeat box that's not a rectangle. And if you look in the text that goes with it, it tells you to work the four stitch repeat so many times across the section. And you can see there are four columns in side the red line, but they're not always the same four columns because the pattern kind of is offset every other time. Same thing's happening, it's just getting moved around. So what I've done in my actual pattern for this is added an extra box in a different color like this. And why did I do that? Well, perhaps it wouldn't have been needed if I had this pattern stitch written out separately, but because it's part of this whole chart that includes these other increases and shaping to create corners in our project, which in this case is a shawl knit in the round with corner increases, so it's kind of a square, even though it's knit in the round, that just means not knit back and forth. I wanted to separate what is the pattern stitch from the section that is the corner increases. Even though these are still just knits that are hanging out in the pattern stitch, these knits on the sides are a plus one. So I'm going to have a multiple of four plus one. Multiple of four plus one. And I still have a multiple of four plus one here. I just knit that one stitch before I start going four, 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 four. So here, I'm coming across on my thing and I knit my corner stitches, then I do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 27 times. When I get to the end, I knit that one extra stitch and then I go on to the next corner. When I get up to round three on this chart, I'm gonna do my corner stuff, then I do that extra knit one first, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then I'm back to the corner. And as you go up, the corner gets more and more extra stitches in it, but they're not part of that pattern stitch section. So that's why I marked it up that way. And you'll also see um, that this just has eight rounds, but we're gonna do this twice. We're gonna do all these rounds twice. So what happens is we've got the four plus one, and in our extra stitches there, we've added one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four on each side. So we have still a multiple of four plus one when we come down and start over. But instead of having this 27 times, the second time around the rounds, we're gonna have this 29 times. So I hope that helps you just with understanding a little bit more about charts. This is a pretty complicated chart being that it has these corner stitches and it has a repeat that's non-rectangular. And that's because the plus ones juggle from side to side to offset the pattern. And you'll see that as you knit it, what it looks like.